Hey everyone, in today's video, we will see how to use a faker in a JMeter. So by watching this video, you will learn what is a faker, why to use a faker, how to use jar file in a JMeter. We will talk about jar file as general and not just a faker. The traditional approach mentioned in the point two, why don't work with a faker? What is the issue that we get? We will also see that. We will see that actually resolving this issue and demo of a faker in a JMeter. Right? So, what is faker and why to use a faker? So, faker generates a fake data. It helps us create a fake data that, that is needed for us to provide for an application, be it a username, be it first name, last name, address, company, email ID, gender, and there could be a lot of parameters, right? Uh, and if we don't use a faker, we will likely to use surname as a surname one, surname two, surname three, username one, username two. That's something a random string which is not close to real world. But faker help us to create a data which is very close to the real world, right? And then there are attributes around which faker creates the data. So, so that's it. So faker originally, as per my knowledge, got initiated in the Ruby world. There is this Ruby, faker Ruby gem is very popular and then most of this you know languages be the java J javascript they they just adopted you know whatever being mentioned in the gem right so for javascript they have faker js for java there is this java faker right so java also has lot many fakers and most of the libraries has more than one faker library but this is most used one or something that we gonna use in this video right so yeah so how to use a jar file in a JMeter, right so there is a standard steps how to use a jar file download the jar file place the jar file in JMeter lib then restart the JMeter, import a dependence in JSR component and code like a jar and that should be it why we need to restart the JMeter? Just like our system dot properties and user dot properties don't get loaded on the runtime, it just get loaded when we start the JMeter. Similarly, all the libraries that we place in the library folder won't get reloaded in the runtime, right? So to get that loaded, we have to restart the JMeter. So let's start with you know doing these steps. So Java faker, I founded the Maven repository for same, and you can see uh for the same repo, we have the jar file and let's download the jar file. So I'm downloading the jar file. And we will keep the jar file as steps suggested over here in the lib folder open JMeter, right? So, so let me go to the download folder and you can see the Java faker just got downloaded over here. I'll copy it. in JMeter folder, if it's a lib folder I am in, right? So I'm going to paste uh, the Java faker in this file, right? And now this is done. I have not restarted the JMeter. So if I start the JMeter, I should be good enough, right? That file should be there. Okay. Now, uh, ideally, this should have worked, right? That we have a particular faker imported and it should able to import the things and we should be able to run the faker data in a JMeter, right? I'm not gonna write anything from, you know, from the scratch, I'm gonna use this. And we don't need all this, we can just stick to the name and to see whether the name is working. Obviously, this is not gonna work right away. Uh, let me save the thread group. Let me save as a faker.jmx and this is our file right so if if i run this you will see that there are a lot of errors out over here right first faker is we have not imported the faker right so so unable to resolve class faker because we have a dependency but we have not imported that dependency in the code so we have to import that dependency right there is a standard being used in the Java world or Maven world about how dependencies or packaging are done for the dependencies. So, so this is how it is. 
So I'm gonna just use this. Obviously, we have creating an object of faker, so we have to add a faker here as well. And ideally, it should have worked that okay, that we have the dependency and let's run it. Now you see there is this other error. That Java language class is not found. So ideally, this faker should have worked, but it won't because there is some exception that another class is not found. What is this class why we are getting right? So before we do that, I need to suggest something that don't use uh, JMeter for coding. So obviously you have to write a code here, but don't write code here. Why? Because there is no smartness or intelligence in the JMeter that if you do use a dot, you don't know what package to import or class to import. If you, you know, want full name, you if you want to first name, you don't gonna get to know by typing over to here, right? And if if you miss any syntax in a any dot or any semicolon, you likely gonna run into the error and you only able to realize that when you're gonna run the whole code. So the proper approach to deal with an external dependencies in a JMeter, use a Java ID, right? So in my case, I'm gonna use an IntelliJ as an ID. So let me open IntelliJ. So, so this is an IntelliJ, I'm gonna create a new pro project so new project of for an IntelliJ. So I'm gonna create a Maven project, right? Uh, obviously we gonna use a faker. So I'm creating a faker project. I'm not writing anything new. I'm just gonna use the dependency mentioned over here, right? Mm, so this is the plain form file. And if we go to the our GitHub, they have given us this dependency that we supposed to use, right? It's supposed to get used in a dependencies as mentioned over. So let's add dependencies and paste this. And if you just import this, the dependency that we actually downloaded will get saved to the M2 folder in our local users M2 cache or no, Maven cache, right? But we will go and do one more thing before we actually writing the code. What I mean by the writing the code, the thing that I was suggesting earlier that if you, okay, let me, you know, Show you something first so this is what we were trying out right so not don't have to write anything more but okay I, we will need pub to test this we need some method right public static void main and things arguments array and then okay and we will just import enter right import the classes so this is the same class that we actually wrote in a jmeter if you recall this is the same class that we wrote right com dot github dot jmeter right so let me increase the font so you can read this properly right so we don't want to go into the all the details let's print out the just name Fully qualified name. Um, let me run this class and see, you know, whether we are getting new name every time using a faker. So Sherika William Jr. is the name that we are getting. Um, if we run it again, we get Miss Dona Kemar. If we run it again, we will get one fish. And so yeah, we are getting different name every time, right? So ideally, this code should have worked as I mentioned, but it won't. Why? And what kind of an error that it was giving? So it was giving us an error of an snake YAML, right? So if you go to the POM file of this project, you will see that the faker itself expects some dependencies, right? So, so faker ex expect these dependencies be available. So you would need this snake YAML with this version available. So if we have to resolve this issue, we have to make sure that all these dependencies that Faker has, we have to download all these dependencies as well with the same version, right? Because there might be incompatibility for that if we use a different version and it may not work, right? But when we use this in ID, 
by virtue of maven the all these dependencies get downloaded by default right it's not just single jar that gets downloaded all these down dependencies get downloaded right so what can we do we can make a fat jar so how to make a fat jar fat jar is like a creating a jar file with all the dependencies and how can you do that you can do that using a build thing so let's create a build you need to plug in to do that so let's integrate a plugin we will need a plugin so plugin and we use a maven assembly plugin right so so there is a standard around that we're not gonna go into it a lot of configuration details but like we will keep it like bare minimum and this should build that okay maven assembly plugin archive with this this and this right so yeah i'll just refresh this and now you will see in plugin section you will see this assembly option available for me because of this plugin and i am saying that uh, you know let let let's create this assembly and we'll see what happens happens okay assembly has done you can see the target folder is created and there is this fat jar is created right so if you open this fat jar in explorer you will see this fat jar is you know around 2.2 mb file right so let me copy this so i am just copying this file and uh, i am just copying this file and i am going to paste it over here so this earlier java faker file the plain faker file was 1.2 mb and this new file that we created our own is 2.2 mb because it has other dependencies that required right so i'm just going to delete the other file the old file okay it may going to throw us an error because we have a jmeter running so let me close the jmeter yes and let me try it deleting it again yeah it got deleted right and now if i run the jmeter i am expecting this to work right so we got this error because this yaml dependency was not there and if i rerun this so i am i have opened the jmeter we started it after the dependencies and if i'm gonna run it let me see am i getting error oh i'm getting error ah i'm getting error because i have a code error and not it right so i need to write this over here as we saw in id and if i run this again okay 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 ah i was when i was explaining this code so ida is like instead of doing all this mistake and figuring out on the run time why don't we use something that we write in id like this right and paste it over here and then use this import function right so if we use this import function now if we run it we won't get an error but print ln own to work in jmeter so we have to use a log dot info so log dot info would work right so very simple code of a four line to demonstrate how to how to get faker to work in a jmeter right so if you see this very simple code right and we just started log info and if i run it now so earlier we had an error and now if i run it there should be in log statement sampler this jsr sampler gloria boyle junior right so you can see over here this name is getting generated right if i rerun this you will see that new name is getting generated right so yeah so similarly you can use this to resolve your issues and get faker working with the jmeter yeah that's pretty much it Thank you.